Hey guys, I recently picked up a new gadget, a new old gadget, and I want to give it a try in this video. It is a B&K 1210 portable color pattern generator. It's a little pocket battery power test pattern generator. By no means a replacement for something like a VG91, because it can do a bunch of other stuff, like do the IF frequencies and have... Uh, I can cover all the VHF channels and do the uh, sound and, and, and stuff like that, even do stereo. But if you're not in the workshop and you want to tweak the linearity on a set or something like that, this should be quite handy. I believe it's from the 80s, if I had to guess. I already popped the back of it off. So it comes in this extruded aluminum case. You can select from several test patterns with this odd matrix. So, <laughs> where X and Y meet, I guess that's a test pattern you're gonna get. And we could do channel A, B, C and power off. And ch select channels A, B and C with a little screwdriver and adjust some trimmer caps inside. So, <laughs> again, the, the other uh, most, well, higher end test pattern generators, they're crystal controlled, they're super accurate. This you know, if this is misadjusted, well, that's not going to do you much good. So I have no idea what channels those are, those are set on. But I do have a brand new 9-volt battery. And if you do get it, ideally you get this with it. Because the RF out is like an earphone jack. And this terminates, well, I don't have this, so I'm going to take it off. I don't even know if that's original. I don't think it is. And uh, it has little alligator clips, which actually is ideal for what I want to use it for right now. So this is a TV I'm currently working on, and it's at the point where I can't get something through the tuner. So I know it's working well enough to give this a try. So let's see what it can do. So I can just clip these onto the antenna terminals of this set. If I don't get anything, the first thing will be to try adjusting one of those trimmer caps. Alright, so I take some screws off to get the thing open. There's a battery compartment inside. We're going to pop in a battery, brand new one. I guess it just sits in here. Okay. No kind of clip or anything. <laughs> Um, let's see. So put the back on with the back on you can see what the controls are there actually there are some other controls you can set the output level and chroma min max I'm not sure what effect that would have the color intensity just tighten these with just your fingers I do have the instruction manuals too. Now there's a bunch of models of these. There's a, a whole series. And there are some higher end models. One will even, uh, or at least one of the models will do the IF as well. A bunch of them on eBay. Yeah, I got this for 13 bucks. So you shouldn't have to pay a whole lot unless this course this video starts to stampede of people running out and buying them. But like I said, there's a bunch of different models, different capabilities different areas that they're from. Oh, let's say, I don't know what channels this is set up for. I'm hoping one of them is 3 or 4. Or at least in the VHF range. So we'll just start out with A. And antenna terminals in this are broken off so I'm going to use an alligator clips anyway so that's convenient. So that's all. Clips are a little fidgety. It looks like we're kind of getting something already. I had a guess. Oh yeah, look at that. So this set uh, it still needs a little, a little help. The gain on it's weak. 
but the fact that we're getting something coming through is really good. I just want to move this up. The alligator clips came off. Cool. There's a higher model to do a circle, but this this basic model does not. And it kind of matches what I recall seeing with my VG91 where, where the linearity is squished a bit at the top and the bottom. And the left side was squished. I don't think, it's, I don't think that's this generator. So let's see, if I go left, top, it should be stripes. And this should be finer squares. Oh, yeah. And then dots. Hmm. Oh, oh, it says four positions, not three. One, two. Oh, the bottom position is checked the battery life. <laughs> okay. I'll run this one out again. I don't know which is acting up the generator or my. TV I'm working on. Antenna connections are there. Try tweaking that RF gain to control again. back. I think maybe the switches on it are a little dirty. Alright, so back to this, a cross hatch, and then this should be dots. Yeah, a little hard to make out. Uh, next over you get fewer bars, coarser grid, and bigger dots. Yep. Next over we should get shading left to right. Yeah, kind of, I guess. <laughs> and this should just be a cross. Or box. Yeah. Should have a dot in the middle. Yeah. A little hard to tell, but yep. And purity. It's not going to mean much with this because it's uh, probably red, green, blue. Yeah, I didn't do anything with the black and white set. But yeah, yeah, that seems to, that seems to work all right. Also handy for me because I've been getting a bunch of sets ready to be shipped out. And as they've been getting done, I've been moving them to another room outside my workshop. And if I bring this with me, I can do some final tweaks on them. So, if you are in the market for a pattern generator and are on a budget, yes, yes, these... These can be used. You're not going to do any troubleshooting, you're not going to do any IF injection, you're not going to do any alignments with it, but to see if the tuner is working, to get a signal in there, to do some tweaks, yes, absolutely. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.